Hello YouTube, today I'll be looking at the second Doctor Gallifrey Collection statue. Here's the box. That's enough of that. Okay, so taking a look at the face sculpt, you can see it's a dead ring of Patrick Troughton. You've got those nice sort of detailed bits uh, of bags under the eyes and, you know, his sort of long nose and uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, apart from the fact that he's sort of frowning a bit, I mean, I kind of get why they went with this, but it's just that on, say, something like the figure, it doesn't look as menacing, whereas on the statue it kind of looks a bit more grumpy and doesn't really represent his doctor very well, but it still is a really, really sort of good likeness, even if it is a sort of odd pose. The hair is also very nicely detailed as well. Um, in particular, the little strands coming down onto his forehead, those look really good actually, really help give the figure that look. Moving down to his torso, you can clearly see there's some lovely detailing on the bow tie, or the individual little um, dots painting on. One thing to note, on the box, it's actually red, the bow tie, but when you get it out, it's blue. I'm not sure if this was like an exclusive, the red one, or, or maybe it's rarer to be blue, I'm not sure. But either way, it's different from on the box, so God knows what happened there. But still, it's really nice, and really looks perfect, especially with it being sort of crooked in the way it's supposed to be, you know, if it's, it's the pearls being one bigger than the other, really sort of completes that sort of hobo look. There's also a lot of really good detail on the uh, creasing of the shirt, as well as his little buttons, each all painted very nicely. And there's a, a, quite a nice pattern on his handkerchief, like so there's a few little, little lines and stuff uh, on there as well. So yeah, on the torso it looks really good. Um, you look around the jacket, you can just sort of see those creases sort of carry on all the way down the back, which is, again, really nice. Okay, so moving down to the waist section. Oh, no, 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 no! There's a lot of good detailing of the checks of his trousers. There's really nice little bits of sort of even it's actually even ingrained into the statue so it's not just like a little bit of painted on thing which is nice yeah but I would have liked a bit of paint on there to sort of make them stand out a bit more because you can't tell as much without really looking at it with this I mean it is a really good effect and the texture is actually really good as well but you just can't sort of tell just by looking but there is still a really good amount of detail on here as well especially on the knees where you can clearly see some creases where his knees are and sort of that continues lower down, which I'll show you in a minute, but yeah. So looking at the side, you can see he has his recorder, which is, is very nicely painted. It's white with a blue stripe around it, which I think actually looks really good. Um, on the figures, you tend to get more of a blue with a few lines and a sort of green bit of rope at the end, which is all right, but this, to me, looks better because it sort of reflects how it looks in those old black and white episodes as opposed to how it looked in the Three Doctors. Whether that actually was how it looked, I don't know, but it still looks better to me this way, and it is detailed really nice. Okay, so finally we have the base section, where you can clearly see this nice sort of just plain black base, which would have been nice if it were, because this is the Gallifrey collection, would have been nice if the Seal of Rassilon was on there, but that would have been like a lot of detail to add, and it might have overshadowed the figure somewhat, so I don't really mind that much. Taking a look at the shoes, you can see there's some quite nice detail on there. Uh, even though there's like plain black shoes, there's a sort of muddy wash on them, which is also really nice. And on the bottom of the figure, you can clearly see there's the Underground Toys logo, along with uh, the second Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor. It's a limited edition cold cast porcelain statue, number 138. So doing a quick size comparison, you can clearly see that this is almost twice as tall as the 5 inch figure. But I will say, the detail in the 5 inch figure is about on par with the statue. I mean, especially when you consider its size. Because the statue's got that huge amount of space and really is only a little bit more detailed than the figure. But one thing to note when comparing these two figures is price. Now, the figure here, the 5 inch one, that normally retails in a set with a Cyberman for what was about £25 in 2009. Now it's more of a rarity, it was an exclusive, so you're looking at more like maybe £25 for just that figure alone, depending on where you find it. 
the statue, however, is about £20 on Amazon at the moment. I managed to pick mine up for around £15 when they were a bit cheaper when this offer first came up, but now they're being sold for about £20 a piece on Amazon. So what that means is basically you could almost pick up this for the same price as this. But that all depends on which you would rather have, a statue or a figure. Now me personally, I'd rather have both. Both are extremely good like this is a Patrick Troughton. Both have really, really nice detailing on them. And of course, both are just great pieces to have. However, if you could only afford one, I'd say you'd probably go for the statue, as it's not only a limited edition collector's piece, but you don't have to spend ages traipsing through eBay pages to try and find one to track down for a reasonable price. You can just buy this now on sites like Amazon, and I think on eBay as well, for around £20, which is a really fair price for what you're getting. Overall, I really like this statue. It's got that really good likeness of Patrick Troughton, despite having that sort of grumpy expression. The bagginess of the clothes and the sort of hobo-like style of his costume is really well brought to life by all the little details here and there. And it's actually surprisingly well painted as well. There's very minimal paint bleeds here and there. And yeah, it's really nice. It just looks good on display. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.